Yeah, hi YouTube. <clears throat> I'm done with uh, the layout for my ultimate sensor board. And this is it on screen. Um, took me quite a while because I had several problems routing the X Mega part down here. As you can see, or might see, um, it's really cramped and. And I had a hell of a time to fit this all onto the layout. But now I think it's done. And the next step will be manufacturing the, uh, the PCB. And I already made my positive film. Here it is. This is what I use to make the PCB. And it is a double-sided PCB, so I want to tell you a little bit about the film, because um, the film is a little evolutionary product of mine, and I found myself a very good method of uh, making a double-sided PCB, good double-sided PCB. See, that's the back side. And that's the top side. And what this is... It is a bag. If I pull out the paper, the paper is where the PCB, on the blank PCB, later then will be placed when this thing gets develop uh, uh, gets exposed. And if I pull it out. No. Hold it against the light source. See? That's the PCB. Um, this is actually four, uh, that's the film I mean. This is actually four layers because every side has two layers. Two layers that will be glued together. And because that makes the thing a little more light resistant, you can see the difference bet between two and four layers. Uh, four layers, mm, almost no light comes through, but um, two layers, mm, this light coming through here. And where it's really bright, those are the parts where they, uh, the parts that shall be exposed. And you just, you take the uh, film, glue it together to a, ba to a bag, and then I have these little windows here, uh, which I placed Right there were um, where I made my, the, the large uh, mounting drills because those I can use to fix the PCB later on uh, with uh, more use well duct tape to to fix uh, fix it because you have to turn it around later <coughs> in your exposing machine have to turn it around of course if if you don't have a, a machine that will expose it from two sides simultaneously. And to, uh, if you fix the PCB, that will prevent you, uh, so it gets gets distorted. You know what I mean? Displaced within um, within the film bag, and if it gets displaced, of course, <laughs> it's natural that um, the result won't be exactly usable. And I have one big problem left here. I'll tell you what it is. It's the back side. It's this. This will be hard to do because it is 10 mil, and it's not the 10 mil. It's it's the X mega. It's the pitch, it's half a millimeter. It's not so easy to do. You need a good printer. That's that's of course very important that you need a good printer. I should really get myself a cam. Yeah. Put the paper in again, then you can see it. That's very fine, very very fine. Um, but you see, even though it is so fine, I think if you press it against the paper here, it's good enough that I can do it. Well. Let's see. I mean, we see this when we've got the result. 
next video then. Thanks for watching and see you soon.